Hello folks, and this is Geeky, uh, doing another episode of Let's Play Army Man uh, Team Assault. Um, we need a demolition and communications officer. reason why, I have no idea, but we do. Uh, I guess because that combination hasn't been used in the past or something, who knows. But this mission is a bit... Um, why didn't they bother, and you'll get what I mean here, but why didn't they bother uh, testing this or, you know, what, uh, at least giving a quick tutorial? Anyway, here's a nice cutscene here. This is actually one of the nicer cutscenes. I like this one. Yeah, let's liberate that tank. There's no explanation of where that train is going other than it stops right there, so it makes no sense why it turns around and whatnot. But anyway, uh, this is a really long mission, and I actually had to uh, cut a lot of length out of this uh, because of my fail driving. Basically, the game expects you to have played Final Front before you played this game. The controls are exactly the same. The only problem is I'm doing this off of my laptop, so it's uh, so I have one extra annoying button that uh, caused me to redo the uh, beginning of this mission here, but it didn't affect the gameplay from then on. But basically, it's the same controls as the Final Front tank. The Q and the E keys move you forward, the W and the R keys move you backwards. The only thing here is the camera isn't your friend. They could have put the camera ba a bit more back or something. And you'll see later on. Uh, I left plenty of footage of how the camera doesn't work. Uh, but let's. But there's one section where I had to cut off four minutes just for getting me getting my tank turned around because I had it at the edge of a game wall. Anyway, here's where I accidentally uh, hit the uh, Windows key. So I had to restart the recording. So we'll go ahead and get that over with. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and do this again. Like I said before, just accidentally hit the uh, Windows key, so I had to restart from the beginning. Nothing too, too hard in. Tank controls are a little bit sluggish. It's not as uh, quick, quick moving compared to the other tanks. And also, your tank position affects how well you can aim. Uh, so you have to keep that in mind. And the game briefly gives you one new obstacle to engage on, which are pillboxes with anti-tank guns on top, for whatever reason. And I thought he was dead, alive, but he isn't. But they can quickly be dispatched as long as you shoot it and just right or one. It'll, it'll auto aim for you, but there is no explanation of if you've killed it or not. So kind of be quick about leaving the area. They don't have too long of a range, so. I mean, there's a med kit up ahead, and there's our first pillbox way up there if you can see it. It's also a pillbox right there. Uh, we can go down this path here. Or we can go down the other path which has a med kit. But has a whole lot of uh, pillboxes in it as well. Then we're going to go ahead and go down a difficult route because we can. And there's also these machine gun pillboxes and regular tanks, the verse. And if you find yourself in a position like I was, just back down a little bit, let it uh, reset its aim, 
and then you can go ahead and go back up. And once again, so any tank controls being a little bit difficult. As you can see, I can barely see my tank. So I have no idea where I am fully. And there's an anti-tank gun. You, you can't kill it, as you can see here. It's just off screen. It can hit you, but you can't hit it. Meaning you're supposed to not go anywhere. But anyway, as you can see, I've completely lost sight of my tank. So I have no idea where I am. But there's this med kit here, so due to bad tank controls, go ahead and go that way. And as you can see here, I can't kill it. But uh, anyway, as I said before, uh, the tank controls work extremely well for a PS2 controller, but for a keyboard, it's no good. So you just have to bear with my bad tank driving skills. And luckily, there isn't too much of this. So, I think it would have been better if this was an auto scroll versus uh, what it is now. And here's the other problem with the level. Uh, I'm shooting above the enemies that I'm trying to hit, and he doesn't kill himself. And they spawn only when you get right there, so you have no chance to get to them, really, so you have to take some hits. Uh, that's some poor game design. I, I expected it to happen, but at the same time, you have to wait for them to spawn to engage, so it's... Eh. And we lost sight of our tank again, so we have to kind of fuss our way through it. I think the Army Man 3D is the best tank control layout. Uh, this this tank method of driving doesn't really work. And as we can see here, I'm about to get stuck. Uh, so I will be back once I get my tank uh, fixed and set around after I pick up this med kit too. Okay, and I'm back. I got myself turned around and ready to go. So let's go ahead and go on the level. I give you some nice tank traps and uh, bunkers here. And I give you two tanks to fight. I'm too high to engage the other tank, unfortunately. So I have to kind of adjust my position. And I guess I better back up, or he's just going to pwn me. Unfortunately, he doesn't chase, so we have to go to where his stopping spot is. Also, notice up to the top of the hill there, there's a anti-tank gun. So I have to kind of be quick about this. See, I'm looking for the tank here and trying to figure out where he is while I'm getting blasted. There's a med kit at least. See, it's not that the level is hard, it's just kind of difficult controls for a keyboard, and but we're ne already nearing the end. Yeah, okay, it takes about four or five shots to take one out, but we got the one behind us, so we gotta kind of hurry up. I'm um, sorry, there's one over there. And I overshot it again. Boom, 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 boom. Run, 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 run. Anyway, from this mission on, it's they have two really annoying hard missions, and those will... De the next mission will probably be a three-parter, uh, just because of how hard it is, and uh, then we have one final part that is completely luck-based, and I'll explain that when we get there. But I think we only have two missions left in the game, and all of them requires that you have played a fi uh, previous version of 
uh, or, or for whatever reason. So, and there's our endpoint there. So go ahead and shell out the area. And once we arrive at the blue spot, we'll go ahead and call this a video for this part. And then we'll be right back for the next part. Make sure everything's clear out in a way before we get going though.